gentlemen. We're about to get started here in a moment. I am just sporadding those lamps around. Then I said, no, your name is Josephine Pasternoff. I don't know. Josephine Kasternoff? I don't even know what I'm saying. Bruh, you have got to replace that fucking battery. I... D Does I... it go off in the night and bother you? Yeah, I, I sleep through it. I gotta text my landlord. <laughs> it's been like three weeks. Uh, it's been like a week and a half, thank you. It's been three weeks. It's been like a week and a half. Shut up. Don't act like it hasn't been shorter than three weeks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, hi, Brandon. Yeah, I'm sorry that I wasn't there, by the way. What? Sorry that I wasn't there on Sunday. Oh, that's fine. I'm not going to be here this Sunday. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I'm, uh, I'm going to a, uh, I'm going to a resort with my fam. Well, that's fine. Time. I'm going to an anime con this Sunday after that. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we're going to be great at, like, co we, we might get to talk to each other before Anime North. Oh my god, right? If we're lucky. Well, I'll be here on Thursdays. Except for next Thursday. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for coming out, by the way. What'd you say? Thanks for coming out, by the way. Oh, of course. Oh, by the way. Um, got to yeah. show you. Show me what? I am live, by the way, right now, so if it's something that uh, no. you don't want the, the people to see. Not that I have any viewers right now. <laughs> it usually takes a minute or two for them to kick in. Alright, so... <laughs> I'm getting pretty far in the Cronus of Trigger. The Trigger of Cronus. The Cronus of Trigger. The Kronos of Trigger, the Trigger of Kronos. How far am I? Um, I am... To answer your question, I'll see what my save file says. What lies beyond? Whatever that means. That's, that's where I am. Also, hi, James. Just a heads up to everybody watching tonight. Uh, tonight's stream is going to be a little shorter because I have to do some packing. Not all of it. I've done some of it already, but... I'm probably going to end around 10 o'clock instead of 11 o'clock tonight. So I can get some more... Packing? Because you're going to... Um, Kokomo? No. You'll get there fast and then you'll take it slow? Is this a reference to something? Yes, the song Kokomo. I don't know what the fuck Kokomo is. You don't know the Kokomo? Oh my god, that was a famous song. Oh my god. Is it a famous song? We down in Coca, Ruba, Bahama. Come on, pretty mama. Come on. Oh, that one. Are you serious? Damn, man. You've never heard Kermit the Frog singing that? I have. Also, hi, Alex. What's up, bitch? Well, you know, playing more Chrono. Word, I saw. I have arrived. Ah, see, I knew everybody would start trickling in a few minutes in, so. I was actually cooking dinner. Oh my I'm god. I'm having. I'm having chicken and gravy and biscuits. No, Kirby, you're having chicken. It's not like you talk about it all the time. It's not like I can just buy chicken. No, it's like a. It's like a. I mean, like a. Like a chicken pot pie. Chicken pot pie. Yeah. Pet pot pie. Um, I don't want to... Don't bully me. I'm not bullying you. What the fuck? You get... Why are you bullying me? Why are you bullying me like I'm this? Not. Well, where the fuck? So, like... I'm having baked chicken. Does that count? Is everybody just having chicken? Baked chicken. I had... Well, yeah, but, like... It's chicken. Well, if you have soy as chicken, then yes. 
Okay, the black uh, to be fair, I also made chicken for dinner, like a Puerto Rican dish. Jesus awesome. Christ. I, for one, welcome our new Disney overlords. <laughs> hey, Oni. Hey. We're currently, you're currently being watched by an Onyx Strider, who I haven't talked to in months. By who? Uh, he's been, he's been getting his shit together. He's getting his shit all together in a backpack. Yes. Um, I'm is someone just... running away from home? Hey, kid. Hey. I'm just gonna smile and nod now because I just heard the news about Disney Plus. What the fuck is What's Disney, Disney Plus? Plus? Streaming Jinx. service. Oh. And apparently, The Simpsons is gonna be the exclusive stream for it. Whoa, really? Mm -hmm. Yep. That's kind of hilarious. It kind of is, but also kind of scary. <laughs> Well, the thing is, is like, Netflix is going to have a run for their money as soon as this gets off the ground, because Disney owns so much shit. Yeah, they own um, too much shit. Yeah, Netflix can stop having ass on its streaming. How much you want to bet one day, one day, like, a couple of years from now, Disney is going to own Hasbro, and they're going to own Power Rangers again. Uh -oh. So I, I want I want I want to I want to I want to give a plus side to this. <laughs> okay, a, pl a, pl a Disney plus side. <laughs> I, I, uh, I'm. I. Uh, okay. Um. With Disney having like I like a good share of things, like they they do own Marvel, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. Um, I was. In a podcast, I was watching a podcast earlier, and it, they pointed it out to me was that um, that them them ha Marvel ha now having executive rights not only to the Avengers and stuff like that, but now they have they got back the X Men and the Fantastic Four. Yep, we might be able to get actual good movies of those. Actually, funny you should mention that. I was I, I saw this uh, this meme and it made me laugh. It was um it was like uh, um, Sony goes, we finally let you Spider Man after all these years, Disney, and you kill him. <laughs> Whoa! I don't know, that made me laugh. Spoilers, I haven't seen. I'm not. Gonna yeah, no. No, no. I... I'm still looking forward to a decent Fantastic Four movie. Yeah, I remember. Nazi moron. Yeah. See, that's the thing. That's the thing. If they come out with a Fantastic Four movie, this one is made in-house, not only by the Disney people, but also in-house by people in Marvel and stuff like that. They say it's a Fantastic Four movie. You're going to get that response that we got from Vegeta, where he just said, you know, he doesn't believe it happened. And that's the big fall of, you know, them actually getting back to Fantastic Four. There's no goodwill for that franchise, even though the Fantastic Four... It's actually really good and comic wise, but we're not they're not gonna get that. Hey guys, quick question. Is there some kind of gimmick to uh Dalton here? I would need to remember slash look up. Oh hi Monty. Yeah, hi. You have to spoon yeah. him. Oh my. Oh god, no. <laughs> I'm just like I said, I'm just waiting for the again, waiting for the day that Somehow Disney acquires the rights to Hasbro and somehow gets the rights to Power Rangers again, and they're gonna kill it. Well, see, here's it's the thing. Here's the thing. When when Disney okay. had uh, Power Rangers, like they had uh, some of the best seasons came out. Yeah, true. it was. Oh, true. that is true. True, but yeah, uh, we the best ninja, the best ninja series, the be the only good magic series. They did the the second was the second. Di uh, dinosaur theme? No, it was third. Third. It was second. Okay. Because there's yeah. there's five now. There's five. They announced there was going to be another one. Well, yeah, because Ryu Sojourn. Yeah, and I'm just like, why do they keep making dinosaurs? Well, the, re uh, the, the reason for that is because if Ryu Sojourn does bad, Super Sentai's over. Oh. Yeah. That's not good. But, um, the last four Super Sentais have underperformed. Yeah, I saw the one episode of Lupin Ranger versus Pata Pata Pat Ranger. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, Pat Ranger. Yeah, Lupin Ranger and Pat Ranger, I heard is is decent, but at the same time, like, it's not. It's, yo, yo, yo! It's not making big money. Hey, it is dude, the doom. What's up? Ah, oh, not much, man. Uh, I just realized something. Um, I've never actually seen Hide Door Hair of Chrono Trigger in my life, so I decided to stop by. They're talking a lot about Lavos right now. Am I getting close? I'm not sure. Like, like you understand that I am. Um, I, I, when it comes to Chrono Trigger, I've only played maybe like the first, up to the jailbreak, and then I just lose interest. I think I'm the only one who's actually played through it. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, other than Vegeta, maybe. Oh, um, wait, Lonnie, I gotta ask you something in private, very quick. Okay. Yeah, um, I, I just remember. I just remembered. I just remember something. I. What I'll say is, uh, just going back to your subject for a minute, I've seen the few episodes that are out. It's not bad, but, I mean, it feels like, it's, it very much feels like like it's not going to be able to be on, on near the same level as Kyoyuger was. Because Kyoyuger sold gangbusters for them. Like, I I just, I, 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 I love Kyoyuger, I'm sorry. I yeah, just... it's, it's, it's one of my favorite Sentais. Like I get, I get so frustrated because there's like my friend who was also the Super Sentai a little bit and so like that. And he's like the only person I can really bounce conversations with, you know, when we're not in like streams like this. Mm -hmm. And like he doesn't like your user because he didn't like, he doesn't like the dance. Yeah, the dance, the dancing. Really, and I'm just really stupid reason not to like her user. All right, and I'm just like, oh, why? It's like. It's it's dinosaurs, but it was also Carnival. The characters was great. It just everything was. Wait, you good mean like fun. Brazilian Carnival? Yeah, and that's in a that's in a Power Rangers Japanese version. Yes, that sounds like the greatest thing ever. Why are we not funding this? It, it we already did. It was like the best selling Sentai in like years. It sounds legit. The, this is, this is the thing is, when we, when we got over here in the, in the, you know, in the West, I'm going to say, and um, we just, we got, we got, I felt like we got half of that. It did really good. Not yeah. going to lie. Donald Charge did really good. It's just that not having that carnival aspect to it, even though the, the, you know, the equipment still had hints of that carnival thing was just like, ooh, why you do this to me? I liked both shows. So it's hard to say. I mean, Kyoyuger is one of my favorite Sentais, so um, it's so like I, I obviously hold it in high regard. But uh, did you did you watch the movie as well? With that, oh, dude, Death Uger is my favorite Kyoyuger. Um, okay, no, no, it was um, not that one. It was the one with, it was one with the Zoo Rangers and the Go Buster. Oh yeah, I've seen that the Go Buster crossover movie. Yeah, that was a great movie. Yeah. I'm kind of sad Funny. that they didn't use that. Um, they didn't end up using that uh, footage in Power Rangers. And the reason they gave is because they had already spent a ton of money on the Legend War. Which kind of sucks. Uh, quote unquote Legend War? Well, not Legend War, sorry. The, the legendary episode or whatever. No, I said quote unquote because that was not a legendary war. I'm sorry. Uh, that, that was a questionable one, yeah. The legend, yeah, the, uh, the the anniversary episode is what I meant. Yeah. The fuck you. Is that the fucking one with all the red guys coming back or no? Uh, that's Forever Red and no. Nope. Yeah, Forever oh, so Red was bad. actually good. Damn I'm so bad. out of the loop. Um, it, I actually was, was gonna. Only, it was the only time they brought back Austin St. John. Yep. Oh, no shit. After after zero, so. Yeah. Now I just have to ask because I just was browsing through Netflix today, and I saw that I, Ultraman is not considered in, in like the same thing as Sentai. That's like Godzilla's uh, guys in suit shit, right? Well, it's still it's all Tokusatsu, but it's made by uh, Toho instead. I think. Wait, no, wait. Ultraman's made by not Toho. T Toho's Godzilla. Yeah. Um. Fuck, I thought Ultra, I, th I thought Ultraman was also Toei, but just it was just it, like it's not Toei. Okay. Yeah. Um, Toei had a lot of actually they were 
I forget fuck who does Ultraman, but I remember uh, that Suba Yar Yar Super Aura Aya Suburia. Suba Aya Yeah Suburia. That's it. Whatever. Um, I'm Suburia sorry, Productions. I just showed my English person trying to speak Japanese and I mean, having no idea. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong too. Vegeta. Doom, Doom. Yo, I need you to watch this, bro. Just, just watch this video. Um, I know that. I'm concerned. I, I know that um, Toei, like when when Ultraman blew up, that's when Toei started like going hard with their Toku stuff to see what would stick. And Kamen Rider ended up being the thing that stuck first. Um, and then Super Sentai happened because they wanted more shows. Um... Oh, that Zord looks rad. And then, let's see. It's so goofy. <laughs> But yeah, it's, um, I, the only thing that's really sucked recently is because of how locked down streaming is on, uh, from Nick, I ha, I'm behind on, uh, on, uh, Beast Morphers. I want to watch more episodes, but Nickelodeon changed it so that you have to have, uh, like, not only do you have to be, uh, is it only available in the States, but you have to have a, uh, uh, you have to use, pr prove you have a cable connection to use it. It's so dumb. Mm-hmm. Yo. So, like, I have a cable connection, but mine does not qualify because I live in Canada. I think that's absolutely stupid. Okay, I just need to respond to what Kirby sent me. Um, this might be the most goofy, raddest thing I've ever seen in my life. Sorry, what? I showed him. I showed him um, two users carnival transformation. Oh God, this thing Wait, is what? that's so rad. I love it. It, it is very. That's very a, rad. what? <laughs> it's so goofy, but I love it. And that Red Ranger outfit looks sick with the yeah, green yeah, eyes and it, shit. It showed you Red Carnival. I am intrigued. Awesome. I don't know why. Also, the 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 music that plays during this fight is like the best song I've ever heard. I will link this to Kitsu because she's. Oh, that's she's... hype! Yeah, I love that song so much. I only have one thing I, I'm really critiquing, mm -hmm. and it's it's only suit based. The mouth on the helmet do just looks like a gray piece of shit. But maybe it has like, maybe it's got definition to it. I can't really tell. I, you know what? To be honest. Um, this, like, maybe it's just me, like, the Sentai's, like, the Sentai before this one, no, it was a Sentai, it was, it was, Go Buster, it went Go Buster, Kyuger, Tokyuger, right? Uh, I, th wait, hold on, I think, yeah, and then the Ninjas after that. Yeah, don't, like, it's, this was part of the, that time frame where they were making these really weird suits. Like, if you think the gray on the on the mouthpiece of the of the Red Ranger suit looks weird, the Tokyuja suits are probably my least favorite. And the Ninja is, like, a close second. I I love the Tokyuja suits and the gimmick around it. I no, just love like Tokyuja. The, like, they, like, don't get me wrong. I like Tokyuja. What, what they did was going with the show and everything. And I also like the how they implemented the suits it's just the the base design of the suits would was just like uh what i i i i like the suits goofy as hell but i i i low-key like how much color they used on it like nothing's an eyesore they used like everything complemented each other really nice but i think that's just a red suit i feel like if they did that with other colors it's gonna look annoying Cause they, yeah. have, like, they got like the yellow fringe and stuff, which I think is cool with the Red Ranger. I just, I, I, I don't know what the rest of the suits look like, but I like the way this one looks. I just have a problem with the mouthpiece, which is a nitpick. Yeah, but uh, the the mouthpiece is kind of awkwardly placed. Okay, it, what the hell? But uh, but I, I, I say that like this uh, like this this like era like after. Like the the next Sentai's after um, 
the next like four to five sentais after uh go kaijers just had some really off-putting suits like they were fine in some aspects but like there was always something weird about them to me and maybe that's just me they can't be worse than the turbo suits though i still can't give that a pass yeah the helmets were always so bad <laughs> like I, have, I i actually had a conversation with a with some of my friends uh on sunday and we were talking about Zeo, and they hate the fact that all the Zeo Rangers had like way different shit on their face. But I think that works better than like whatever the fuck they were doing in Turbo. I love the Zeo helmet. Those Turbo helmets look stupid. <laughs> well, the other thing to remember is Car Ranger was a comedy, so they were trying to make it look stupid. No, but it just looks dumb. Red Racer. I mean, yeah, I know it was like based off of a comedy, but like still. There, when you, you can't take that look and try to make it serious. Yeah. That's all they had. So they just had to work with what they had. Yeah. The, the know, problem too is like, in like, space is really cool. The, the behind the scenes on Turbo was a mess though. Like they tried to like, like, the the writing team couldn't agree on things and like, it's it had a lot of like. Um. It had a lot of like production problems, which sucks because um, that villain is really cool. I like yeah, the I like the yeah. chick villain, and the dude who looks like Nosferatu got melted by a candle. I can't remember his name. Oh fucking! Uh, oh, El uh, Elgar. Elgar or something? Elgar. Yeah, something like that. Fucking Elgar. I used to love drawing him as a kid, and I know it was like horrible kid drawings, but he was just so silly. He was like the dumbest henchman. <laughs> Dumber than Rito? Rito was pretty yeah. dumb. Dude, I liked Rito, even though he was dumb. <laughs> well, yeah, just because they're dumb doesn't mean I that you can't like him. Plus, they had that I little know. they had that little Quasimodo fucking abomination in the movie. Oh god, I can't remember his name. <laughs> He oh, just, the, the wizard guy, right? Yeah, he just looked like an HR puff and stuff nightmare. Oh god, no, he looked like a freaking um if an Ewok had like had sex with a Sasquatch. I'm like, "Ah, no." This might date m m might date some things, but did y'all uh -huh. ever see that movie um I think it's called Ma uh, what the fuck is it now? Um Hold on. I'm going to look this up. Mac and me. Oh, fuck. I've I've heard of that, but I've never seen it. He looks yes, like he looks like Mac and me had sex with like. Oh boy. Looks like he had sex with an Ewok, and they wound up like giving birth in Pee Wee's Playhouse. Oh. <laughs> this looks like it looks bad. That is very. Well, I've officially heard the phrase if one of Mac and me had sex. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Oh. <laughs> You're welcome. I do it for the kids. Damn it, I died again. <laughs> It's for the kids. We're, we're totally culturally appropriate for children. I'm gonna try to do that that whistle from Mac and me. <laughs> you know, as much as I hate Paul Rudd, that is the only thing I like about Paul Rudd. Is every time he goes on late night talk show to promote a, a movie, he always brings the same clip from Mac and me of a kid in a wheelchair falling off a cliff. I love that running joke, it's amazing. I It's the only <laughs> thing I like about Paul Rudd. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of partial to the uh, going up Thanos's butt and expanding meme. If that's not oh, an alternate that's ending like, on no. the DVD, oh. I'm going to be upset. <laughs> like, they're still filming that, I'm pretty sure. Like, they're still adding stuff to it. Has that wrapped? I, yeah, I think so. Well, you know it's what? About to, uh, it's about to come I, out in like two weeks. I, I just had a random thought in my head. Just you know the you know the the Power Ranger movie that Greece, that came out within the last couple of years. Yeah. Yeah, the one that's yes. like okay but not okay. Didn't that end it, on a cliffhanger? Yeah. It, it, it had an after credit scene that basically just promotes the scene. Was it? Oh, why did they keep doing that? It was. It, I don't know because the Marvel <laughs> movies ruined everything. I was in a call with a buddy of mine. Wait, am I spoiling anything? Has everybody seen Captain Marvel? No, no I have not seen Captain Marvel. Uh, no, I have I've not. Like I have zero plans to. 
Okay, well yeah, then I'm not gonna spoil to anything, through. but I was having a conversation <laughs> with my buddy. He's like, I was like, you know, I feel really dumb because I watched the trailer and I don't like that I see Samuel L. Jackson with two eyes. And then he's oh. like, oh, oh, do you want to know how he loses his eye? And I took a guess and I hated that I was so right. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> that was awesome. I know it's, how he loses his eye and I'm like, no. dumbest thing. <laughs> Yes! Straw on the soda. Gets you every time. Oh. Uh, oh. So, can somebody explain this game to me? Somebody told me it's like, it's basically <laughs> like Final Fantasy VII. Oh, now we actually want to talk about the game? Instead of Power Rangers for three hours? I mean, I mean, oh, I mean... Ronnie, yeah. if you prefer, we can continue talking about Power Rangers. Oh, by all means, I'm sure. But I no, I'll talk, about you, you all right, guys, he wants it. So streaming, good. then. Um, but wait, no, that... No. That was the point I was going to bring up. I was cruising on Netflix and they have that Ultraman revive. And I don't know if it looks good or laughable and I'm like on the fence about it. I I just I just want to point out in terms of this game, uh, he's just running around killing things and I'm not sure if, how we can just make that sound interesting on any on any level. Especially since I keep dying and I know what I did wrong. Well, that's just part of learning. But yeah, this is um, it's a Super Nintendo RPG and uh, it's it's pretty much Harold is like one of the be one of the better ones. So. And I know it was made by uh, the the DBZ guy. Um, uh, well, the art style on? was by. Twitter. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why I couldn't remember and, his and name. Pe basically, people that actually were involved with Final Fantasy and Dragon Quest actually came together. To Th make this this was a Square Enix collaboration before they actually became one company, which I think is yeah. hilarious. Like, I know this game is mad popular, because when I worked at GameStop, I know they had it for the DS, and they couldn't we couldn't keep that on the shelf for, like, more than a day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The DS version is, is one of the better versions, too, so... Of course, I'm playing the SNES version, um, but, uh... Really Spoken like a real hipster. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not what I was going for, but, uh, sure... <laughs> just mess well, up. You already went through a hipster face a couple years ago. Yeah, I never want to see that again. I I, hey, might have I liked it. my long green locks. Thank you very much. Oh! No, wait, 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 wait. You're just jealous as he had hair. I rem. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I real I should laugh, girlfriend. But... Welcome to. But, but I feel like it's partially true. I don't know, dude. You rock the green hair pretty well. But... Also, uh, hi, Tara. Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, let, yeah let's, let's bring up the fact that I'm fucking bald. Yeah, that's, that's just a great fucking idea. Well, I'm gonna uh, shave I... yours off, Blondie. How do you like that, huh? Huh? You know, Oni, no one can see you. You could have just said, I'm not bald. I have, like, <laughs> six six-pack abs and a beautiful mullet, and no one would have known the difference. Except but you admitted to it. Like. So, so, I mean, you probably, us, probably, know probably believe like. you had a mullet, honey. <laughs> I like, 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 I want, I want to, I want to point out that mullets are probably, is probably ha as worse than being bald. They just never look good. Even when no. people say it looks good. Uh, I meant to, I meant to ask you, Zero, since I got you here. No. Did you see that four minute rant I posted? Jesus Christ, dude. No. Um, did you see that four I minute did. rant I posted on my channel? No. I posted a four minute rant about me just, it is basically me being pissed off at uh, Bandai Namco about the Switch version of God Eater 3. Why? Oh, they made a Switch version? They're making a Switch version and exclusive to the Switch version is that you can get a, a I'm gonna, probably gonna butcher their names, uh, oh, a Yuri Lowell, Yuri Lowell and Estelle costume exclusive for the Switch. You mean like the singer? Oh, from Te no, you mean the characters from Tales of Vesperia? Yeah. Okay. And, and I'm just like, <clears throat> um, uh, Jimmy said zero for scouts. Use the magic associated with the color. Don't have fire. Just use physical attack. I'm glad yeah, Chaz on point with the advice at least. Since um, you are pretty hazy. Well, I don't know about I, look. Look, I've like played every, the game, but I haven't. I'm hazy on details. It's been a like, while. like every time I come to these streams, every time I try to offer advice, is either wrong or I get yelled at. So I just, I just talk about other stuff. 
No, that's fine. Like most people here actually haven't played through the game, so most, that's why I've never played that's it why, at That's all. why the I'm conversations just, are, are kind of off the walls like this. But that's fine. Like I may sound annoyed, but I but it's understandable. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, it's because no it's your stick. I'm yeah. not I'm not a RPG kind of guy, but I love coming in here and talking. As he said several times, but yeah. Now I'll keep fucking him well, and that shit in too. <laughs> Oh, oh god! I know. I'm just saying. You, I'm just saying. You remind everyone the chance to get. I, I'm, See, a, I'm, I'm a bit of a stickler when it comes to repetition. In case you can't tell. <laughs> but uh, uh, man, if you're a li if you're a living walkthrough of this game, why aren't you ever in these streams? Other than <laughs> other other than, other than the fact that you're probably working right now, but also watching this stream, why aren't you in the voice chat? You're in the server. Yeah. There's already like seven people here, though. So it'd be hard I mean, to hard to hard to. Bring look, it back, I like look look look. Or I will I will, or something. I will <laughs> leave. I will leave just just ju if it if it would help. I will leave. No, 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 no. no. I'm not saying you you should, you should leave. Okay. I'm just saying it's okay. Okay. when there's when there's clutter. It's it's gonna it's gonna ah, be a little, so little tricky clutter. tricky to, to provide advice. I understand okay, what you're yeah. saying. Yeah, I understand it too. Weird background noise. Only oh, like Charlie Brown parents. That's kind of what it sounds like when you guys. That was fucking about beautiful. When I was stuff. a kid, I asked my parents why they didn't sound like that, and then I think I realized my parents thought I was going to be like an idiot when I grew up, and that they were pretty much all right. Letterkenny with John. Ah, you're watching Letterkenny. Good. That show's is that good? Awesome. Is that a good show? Um, it, like it's 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 Canada at its finest. Really? Because I always thought Kenny versus Spenny was Canada at its finest. Oh, you mean you that shit wrong. I fucking saw on Spike TV that one time? Ugh. That show was fantastic. That's all I'm saying. I thought Degrassi was the greatest thing in Canada produced. <laughs> MXC was a yeah. great show. I exactly. missed that show. Uh, uh, by the way, um, if you want to get a taste of what Letter Kenny is, it used to be a web series, so you can just check out their YouTube channel and, like, it's, it's fucking great shit. Like some people, some people like might be just like, what? Unless you're Canadian, you might you might not understand what the fuck's going on. But like, oh, it's so good. It's just it's just a it's just a piss ass town, small town in fucking Ontario. And they decided to make a show based around all the people who live there. That sounds Canada horrible. Uh, oh my god, Billy. Like just no, be no, glad no, that no, Riley's no. not here. Because he would be Hold pissed on. off hearing you say that. Hold on. That sounds like the most terrible idea for a show ever. And yet, I fucking love it. Well, that's... They also made tra Like, we also have Trailer Park Boys, which was... I was about to bring that up. How in the um, hell do you have Trailer Park Boys when the South is known for trailer parks? I'm sorry. Um, actually... we have Trailer Parks, too? <laughs> fucking... See, you ever been uh, to uh, the South? South no, 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 no. We can out Trailer Park ya, okay? Uh, so, um, I don't think... That's not something A to be Oni, proud Oni, of. Oni? <laughs> no. You have, until you see Trailer Park Boys, that's a no. There's I will no argue one. one thing that no, the worst idea be... for a show is actually the day my butt went psycho. That is the worst idea for a show. <laughs> what the hell is that? Fucking hell! A friend of mine, I know. That, that sounds that sound like an autobiography for Genji. No, no, I know my friend was joking about this, <laughs> but he had, a, he had Shut a fucking up, idea. Kirby. <laughs> he had a fucking idea about doing a subway like shop. For just French fries. How is that good TV? Are we, still, show. are we still on the topic of TV, or are we just talking about shitty ideas that we know? Shitty ideas. Okay, 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 okay. I want, ideas. I want, I want you to sit here and I want to sit, come back and and play devil's advocate to that quote unquote shitty idea. <laughs> there are there are several different ways that you can cook and prepare French fries in this world that a Subway like shop just for french fries would actually be a good thing i feel like it's so oh niche. My God. like i feel like it's so niche though because besides like poutine which is god's gift to man um i love it and i'm in and i'm in america okay and, um truffle oil and parmesan which is another amazing french fry combination okay um, okay 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 i'm gonna i'm gonna lay some i'm gonna lay some lay some knowledge for you okay 
Oh okay. boy. Do you like spicy foods? Yeah. Yes. Uh, not really. No. no. Okay. For, for, well, so this. I don't like them too spicy, but I do like okay, enjoy okay, it every okay, once in a while. Okay. Okay. So so this is this is this 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 so this wouldn't be. Um, uh, Cyber Six. Yeah, that's also a good one. This this one um, this wouldn't be uh for for Doom, but like you can. This is what I usually do when I cook French fries. I fry them up. Mm -hmm. those like throw two different types of cheeses on top of it. Oh, okay. Pause. Oh, what like, two types of cheese? Um, usually a Monterey, a Monterey Jack, and maybe a mild cheddar. Depends. All right, I'm already messing with it. I already love it. So, I'm All boring. Right. I just honey mustard. Um, wait on French fries? On French fries. These are on, yeah, these are on French fries. Yeah. No, no, honey mustard on French fries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it tastes good. First, yeah. Um, okay. For, for for if you guys wanna wanna know, I think, I think uh, James dropped a. Uh, uh, thing in the general chat. Yeah, it's the first scene from the first episode, the cold open. Um, that was actually like the web version was the one of the first videos they did when they were doing the web series, and then it got picked up by Crave to be a TV series. Nice. Um, the, like all you need to do is watch that one scene, and and you'll I there, you're, it's gonna give you one or two reactions. One, if you understand Canadian, you'll be like, well, that was fucking hilarious. Or two, you'll be like, huh, what? Um. So that way, back to these delicious French fries. That so, so if you do, if you don't if you don't like like them too spicy, um, when I usually pre pre prepare this type of, uh, what I what I, what I jokingly call southwestern poutine, <laughs> um, um, I put on I usually I put on like um, like a sweet like a, a sweet and spicy banana peppers but the normal recipe usually calls for jalapenos okay so i'm already liking this because I'm, I'm a banana pepper guy i can i like banana yeah. peppers and you know and to top it off you do you drizzle bacon on it not like like not like full strips of bacon just like crumbled bacon and you cook it all up oh like like like, like uh oh, you're making spicy chicken uh, spicy um spicy cheese is 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 a spice is a spicy is a spicy cheese fries. You, you you could put a little ranch on it or maybe whatever you like on oh, your. Oh, ranch is so bad for you. Oh God. Oh, yeah, it is. Went over this that, before already. Whatever you like on it to, to help cut off the heat because good a good jalapeno is hot. I cannot have seats. spicy foods. My entire family is Nordic and uh, there is no spice in, in any of those countries. That's true. <laughs> Yeah, but like whatever, whatever you like. That's why I say I use usually I use a sweet banana pepper because sweet banana peppers don't have that like really hot kick to it. But they're just like, damn it, it's, it's like it's like a it's like, it was almost like a citrusy flavor. Like sweet, but uh, okay, sweet banana so pepper is like a it's, a, it's like a citrusy flavor. It's it's like it's pickled. It's like a light spice, and it's almost it's in a brine. Um, I don't yeah. know what it is. It's almost the same way you do pickles though. Yeah, we have some bit. Ah, Goku's uh, Super Saiyan 400. Thank you. <laughs> Do the food podcast is your place to grow sugar. All right. Uh, I mean, there's guys, food and Chrono Trigger. Guys, right? we need to. Can I get some salts in the chat, please? Can I get some salts? Uh, some salts. Salt. Um, another. I cannot another... believe you y'all are making this work. This bad idea actually sound good. What is wrong with y'all? <laughs> my my only issue is it seems like a bad idea because. Okay, so I've worked in the food industry a lot, oh, and I think, like, only doing, like, french fries being a major thing, you know, I think it's cool to have that as an option on a menu, but, like, I don't th feel like that should be, like, a whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that's true, but, like, like the one the one thing I, do, I will stress is that you don't use regular oil when you cook french fries. Peanut oil is so much healthier mm, for peanut you. Peanut oil. I like canola, personally. Well, the um, markup on French fries is ridiculous, so that's like you're all. It's pretty much like all profit. Oh, sunflower seed yeah. oil is really good too for frying. Spe speaking of salt, Tara, what's your rank right now in uh, in Tetris ninety nine? Is that good? Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. In fact, Tetris, then yes. It's on my Switch, and I haven't played it. It's so, so good. Um, the rank is really the rank is really just the rank is just determined. The ranks is determined by how much you play the game, really. So if you just play a lot of it, you'll get a big, you'll get a high rank regardless. Hmm. Speaking of Switch, I might be getting one soon. Might not. Maybe not this end of this month, but probably in the next month, I will be getting a Switch. Cool, cool. 
I'll, have to to th I'll, I'll probably hold off and get God Eater 3 for Switch then. I'm trying to think what else I am on not Switch. playing God Eater 3 for Switch. Why? Because, okay, first off, I'm not, like, as much as I love God Eater 3, I am not buying it again. Uh, okay. <laughs> that's fine. If you don't want to double dip, then that's perfectly understandable. Even double if there dip. is. <laughs> like, okay, We're back look. to french fries again. I'm hungry. Like, 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 like I want to point out that I double dipped on both uh, God Eater uh, Rage Burst 2, not only for PC and PS4. And, uh, no, it's just, uh, I just, I just, I wouldn't get the Switch version mainly because I'm, I'm just kind of still silently just really pissed off that they're making a costume of characters that's not, you know, N Nintendo exclusive characters as an exclusive Nintendo thing. And I'm just like, oh, why would you do that? That hurt. That makes me so angry. So you're just upset because they have exclusive content on that version, basically. Yeah, there's no reason for it to be exclusive content, especially if someone already supported the game on well, another it, console well, whether or not it remains exclusive will have yet to be the scene i imagine but yeah it's it could the same, they're always putting out new shit for everything like, i mean every it's, other it's day, the same so. problem with uh um with the switch release of uh dread quest 11 like a lot of people were pissed because they didn't put the orchestrated soundtrack in the north american version on, on ps4 and then the switch version is getting the orchestrated soundtrack among other things, yeah. yeah. Among extra, uh, extra content as well, so. Yeah, and I and as someone who has the PS4 version of Dragon Quest XI, it's like, yeah, I'm a little miffed, but at the same time, like, it's it's good to have that version for people who who mm. who didn't get it originally and, and whatnot. Yeah. So I'm I'm still okay. I'm still relatively okay with that, and you know, and a lot of people double dip on the on the Switch anyway, even if they have the game because it's because it has a lot of ports of stuff. So yeah. I might still get it regardless, even if it's a little, even if it's slightly reluct reluctantly. <laughs> like I think I'm gonna double dip and finally get Doom for the Switch, just because I want to be able to bring Doom on the go. Yeah, exactly. That's that's a big big factor why people get it on the Switch too. I mean, it's it's, it's the same the idea as like just picture like a really amazing 3DS port, except it's like. Wait, is the Switch 1080? Am I an idiot? Yes, it's 1080. Yeah, it's uh, 1080. It is when it's docked, when it's I believe. Docked. When it's in... Uh, when, it, when, you're, when it's handheld, I believe it's like 720. Still, either way, that still looks fucking good. They just, just released Torok for the Switch, and that looked really good. I just, I, I, just, I, I just look at it like this, is that... I wouldn't. I would. I would. I wouldn't have been bothered by by the entire situation if it was Nintendo exclusive, co uh, like costumes. Like if it was like Link or something. Yeah, like I said in the video that I made, like, it was like like, like, like this, like the Skyrim like, version. On yeah, Switch. like like if it's Link and Zelda instead of being Estelle and Yuri, I would have been. I would have been totally fine. I'm like cool, whatever. I might have would have doubled it, but that just that just like why. I have well, there's feeling... nothing to say like right now that they're not gonna do that. I mean, I have a feeling the reason they're 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 doing this Switch version with exclusive content is so they can, is so they can get the game out there to more people. Cause, like, I know that I know that like like I like I've heard from people the game's good, but obviously like it's not a a big time seller for the PlayStation. Like it's it's the thing. It's the thing is, and I like I was I was telling my girlfriend this is that. I enjoy the game. I love the game and stuff like that. But we both bought the game, knowing that after after going through it, we realized that it wasn't really a fully complete game. Like the, there was two main campaigns, but then they came out after the, like, the day one patch and everything was like, oh, we're gonna have updates going through the spring and summer and something like that. We're gonna add a, a new third extra campaign to it. We're gonna add more DLC character like DLC. T um, party mates you can have on your Wait, team what? and everything. What the fuck am I missing? A fish. Like, I've got... I just, I just lost these ones. Oh, I'm just... At this point, I'm just waiting on Red Dead Redemption 2 to be ported to Switch at this I point. Don't, I don't feel like that would run very yeah, well. I'm still... No. I don't see, I know, I don't see that I'm... One. I know, I'm just making, oh, I'm just talking yeah. out my ass at this point, because it's like, everything else is being poured to the Switch, and don't get me wrong. Yeah, but, but people, and people, I'll sit here with my PS4 and Vita. 
You just be, you just be like, hey, oh. it's the last person with a Vita. How does that feel? I love my Vita. Hey, hey, I have a Vita too. The two, I'm not alone. I, I had one. one. Don't, 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 Although don't. Although it pretty much got curb stomp as soon as the Switch came out, so. I'm, I'm catching up though on games. I just beat uh, that Batman Enemy Within today. Catching up. When did that come out? <laughs> like a year or two and a half ago. Okay. It's just, it's just like, hey guys. And fucking Catwoman wouldn't leave me alone. I had to keep betraying her and curb stomping her. Ah, uh, just Why? like a B, just like a B, just like a B pluser. Uh, okay. Be gone, thought. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not my fault. Vegeta is a B plus player. In the jar. <laughs> that was so oh. worth it. You See, it got only works if I get the reference. If I don't get the reference, it doesn't. No, work. no, no. Obscure wrestling reference. I'm assuming. Very much so. Yeah. That yeah. was actually. I was gonna say like a game I just double dipped on. Um, Fire Pro Wrestling. I had it on the uh, PC Before and then the I Mario bought it. Mario 3D for World. The, for uh, I, I mean, that would kind of be cool, but I don't want more Switch port or uh, Wii U ports to the Switch. I want more. I want GameCube ports. Look, well, Tara says she wants 3D World on Switch. Look, that's that's I want World to be solid. I will drop everything that I'm getting oh, in the next in the next month and a half. If okay, they sure, announce the, course. I'm gonna go ahead. If they, All right, if, later, Billy. Thanks yeah. for stopping by. See you, Billy. Um, if they say they're they're porting uh, Xenoblade Chronicle X to the Switch, I mean, I already have the collector's edition on Wii U, so I'll go find Reggie and kiss him on the mouth if the last thing he does this week is. Um, announce um, Super Mario Sunshine to the Switch. I'll find. I him. thought you were gonna say Mother Three. <laughs> um, Mother. Actually, I'm not a big fan of the Mother. Well, no, I played like one of the games. Um, I really want uh, Sunshine to be re-released because I think that's low key one of the best Mario games. Uh, I mean, that, that that's fun. For the for the last <laughs> Nintendo Direct he does, he he said he says he releases it. And he's like, all right, now Doom. I'm expecting that kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, dude, fly me I out mean, there. I got a broken ankle, so I need air. I need a cab from my house to the airport. Reggie's listening to this, dude. I'll cut. I'll cut my mustache off. I'll get the Reggie. good chapstick out. It'll be great. It'll be the worst. It'll be the worst kiss you ever have, Reggie. But it'll happen. Fuck. I'll get it. I'll get a switch if they port over Pied Piper from the PC to Switch. <laughs> We're back. You always want the dumbest shit. <laughs> Zero. You have to play it. No, the only way I'm not I playing like Pied Piper on the, on the even though even though Pied it uh, even though it features uh, Jason David Frank. I was about to say the only you're way you're obligated to play it. The only way I would fucking play Pied Piper is if Jason David Frank and half of it's screaming and all that. I'm what if Jason like David Frank head. said, "I will kiss you on the mouth if you play this game that's getting." Jason David over Frank is is the original Green Ranger. Is kissing people on the mouth just like your go-to thing? And no. The Dino Thunder Black Ranger. I, I'm He's in the very Pied Piper tired. Game. I need to be more creative. Doom. It's Doom. Listen. Look. It's Look. fine if you're bisexual, I... dude. Nobody's gonna quit. Okay. Could you? Yeah. Why wow. are you bringing up sexuality, all of a sudden? Wow. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm just saying. Reggie. You never have any restraint. Oni, Oni, to, Oni, Oni, this is, okay, Oni, this is something I've meant to say to you for a while. Can you think before you talk? What is thinking? I'll just say this. If Reggie wants to pay for my cab and airfare and buy me a copy of that game on the Switch, I'll think about it. <laughs> Fuck. Um, I don't know what I'm missing. Uh... Like I think he's dropping. You have to kiss the villain on the mouth. I think that's the, the hint he's trying to drop. No. Yeah. Oh, really? Wait. I don't know. I'm... That seems like. <laughs> I don't like, know. like a weird I don't know what it is. To be fair, that would be the answer if this were like an Otome game. That would be uh, the there answer. There might be something you need to interact or, or maybe do something. I'm, I'm yeah. guessing. I'm guessing. That's what I'm thinking too, I guess. Uh, go back to the old stereotype thing. Go up to every part of the wall and just keep hitting A until you find something. Uh, that always works. I like okay. Mm -hmm. with the no. I, I, I was I was I was I was I was starting to have a little panic attack there because I thought my alarm was going off again. Onyx Strider says zero. Check the bottom left area. Oh, oh Kirby, thank you for reminding me. I need to set my alarm. 
for real. Yeah, no, like, I, I... Thanks, uh... James. I need something alone for work. Actually, Kirby, if you're still on... Oh, you remind okay. Me, remind me again, for real. I, uh, sure. Yeah, I... I just, I just, I don't know. He's a little forgetful, don't mind him. No, I just, like, my re my reason, my reason for me worrying about the alarm went off is, like, something totally different. Because, uh, I'm not going to go and get into that. That's a little... That, uh, IRL thing. Got it. He's yeah, got a pizza uh... in the oven. No, 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 no. <sighs> don't make me explain this. Oh, oh, I'm not. No, I'm just no, coming no, up don't. with an excuse for you. <sighs> Shit, that only hit those two, didn't it? Yeah. Fuck. Oh, is that what you have to do? You have to kill all of these things in this room? No, I think it just needs to find a find uh, an area just to go get to. Okay. I actually do have a question. I, uh, is going, it related to this to... game, or is it related to the stream? Well, is it a personal been life about thing? Power Rangers. Okay, good. I'm being legit because okay. this is really bothering the piss out of me. Sonic oh Arrow, really? Oh god, what is? Speaking of Rangers and stuff, what is like? Uh, is friggin' uh, what's next? Keppel's gonna get a Genesis driver. I'll, I'll wait a minute. I'm, I, I'm done. Okay, I was gonna ask, and maybe you might be able to explain this, and I'm, maybe I'm just dumb as fuck. You know that one episode of the first season of Power Rangers when they were doing the Frankenstein monster? Uh, and then maybe. later I found out about how there was two monsters, I thought they were separate, and it was just one big monster and Zoo Ranger. How come they just didn't go for that in the in Power Rangers instead of being two monsters just being one big monster or am I just being stupid? I have no idea what you're talking about, dude. Why is Beetleborgs unintentionally the hypest thing ever? Big bad <laughs> Beetleborgs. I mean, it's got everything. It's got classic movie monsters. It's got See, Blue Jay Leno. It's got annoying See, kids. I watched that show as a kid, but I have no recollection of it. It's all on Netflix last um, time I checked. I have it on DVD. Really? I have a little bit of recollection. Like, I, I remember it's, it's, that it's show, funny but I remember bits and Because I remember McDonald's was selling the Beetle Bonders at one point, and me yeah. and my brother each had uh, each of the kids' Beetle Bonders. Except, hold on, if I'm remembering this correctly, I don't know how it was in Canada, but I remember those toys too, but they were the second iteration where they were pink... Silver oh. and gold. Beetleborgs metallics. Right? Beetleborgs. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they were they were the metallic ones. But I don't think those had come out in America yet. I think they were still doing red, blue, and green. Okay, the the rooms all have gems on top of them now. So something else is going on here. Okay. I wasn't a fan of Big Bad Beetle. Dude, it's it's the hypest shit. It really it's, is. It, it's um, it is not actually, everybody does it's like enjoyable. it. It's enjoyable. It's fun. I was gonna say I would have rather watched VR Troopers than what a big bad. Oh, VR was. Troopers! I tried watching recently. It's so fucking boring. What's the one with Tim Curry and he voices the bad guy and it's not VR Troopers? We're supposed to go down, play. <sighs> yeah. I want to say Common Rider, but I know I'm gonna be it's wrong. It's definitely Rider. not Common Rider. Masked Rider. Why was I thinking Common Rider? No, it definitely Rider. wasn't that yeah. either. It was like a Super Masked Samurai Rider. something oh, fighting. Oh, um, uh, Superhuman Super Samurai, Samurai Cyber Squad. Cats. Oh wait, that's a different no, thing. No. Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. Yeah, that it. one. That one is also incredibly hype as shit. By the way, by the way, um, SSS Gridman, the anime that came out last year is based on is uh is uh, like based on the japanese version of S superhuman samurai cyber squad which is great man yeah i know but and i want to watch that anime i haven't seen it yet most n not just because it's grid man but also because it's toa or not toy sorry it's a uh, um trigger and i love trigger are we getting penny and stocking season two anytime soon no no 
I, o I only say that because I blame Zero because I've been jamming that theme song for like. Listen, I was I, I I was I was writing some rhymes, okay? How you doing, guys? Hey, how's it going, right man? Hello. Hey, I'm not that I'm against it, but I heard that and I'm like, oh my god, I forgot how good this song was. <laughs> I, I I need ugh, God. I, if I can find a way to mix, if find a good drum beat to mix with it, I might be able to do it myself, but. Love panty stocking. I honestly don't know anything about mixing music correctly. It's not easy. I'll tell you that much. Making a drum beat, and like I like when you asked me about that the other day, I was like, the thing is about making like rap music stuff like that is that I have to, I got to hear your flow before I attempt to make a beat around it. See, here's the thing. Like some of the rhymes I've written are based on mi mixing flow, like changing my flow up. No, that's fine yeah. and everything because you could do that in a rap song it's all about it's all about cadence yeah it like, all depends on where on where and how you do it yeah but without me hearing it and so like that i wouldn't understand where you want to where how the what the what to make the beat like yeah yeah like one of the best things you could do is give a sample of it and like I don't know or try to find something that's got a similar BPM or well, similar I, what, vibe. What I was gonna do is I was going to uh, I was I was gonna take your advice and use that track that you sent me to practice on, and then I was gonna use send that to you guys to give you an idea of the flow that I'm working on. I can't wait for that full track to be finished. I am still tooling on it slowly. So is this like uh, is this like a remix you're making or what is it exactly? Um. So I found the beat. And it it was it, it was so there was like nothing done to it. It was super generic, and I added a bunch of extra shit to it to like make it better. I contacted the guy who made it. And I was like, "Is it cool if I fuck with your beat?" And he was like, "Yeah, dude, I don't care. I put it out for people to listen to it, and if you like it, yeah, feel free. Just credit me that you that you like use some of my original shit." And I said, "Yeah, sure, no problem." And I've just been adding and tooling stuff to it. And that song's like ninety percent written right now. I just haven't had a chance to record it. Mm. There are some fire bars on that one. Yeah, no, for real. Y'all got some good shit going on, for real. Uh, nah. I mean, I'm just. I'm, <laughs> while, while we're talking about this, I'm looking through all files for like shit I've been working on. I have one song fully recorded that I'm gonna redo because I'm not happy with my vocals. Yeah. And now that I've listened to it 8,000 times, I figured out ways to do so, it better. So if you guys were wondering where this came from, I started listening to uh, Trial of the Golden Witch, um, which is, which is like, uh, he, um, which is Digibro's like rap project, but he did these two things called, uh, what were they, um, a uh, emotional anime raps, and like, they're, fuck, they're hard as, as fuck, and I was like, I really like this. This makes me think that I could do rhymes again. And this is the first time I've written rhymes since, like, ninth grade. And I was like, for a long time, I was like, eh, I can't do that anymore. I was always laying at it. And then I started writing. I'm like, you know what? I'm not bad. Whatever. If I suck, I suck. Who cares? Yeah, dude, that's the best way to do it. Just put stuff out there and throw it out there to the world and see if they vibe with it. I mean, if, at the end of the day, as long as you're happy with it, I mean, who cares what everybody else says? Yeah. That point. Yeah. Like, I can't listen back to anything I, I did, like, last year, because I hate it. Because in one year's time, I've changed up so much about what I, like, with what I do. Mm, but, I feel that. But it's good, like, it's kind of like when you're watching, like, abridged content when you first started versus mm. the stuff you did towards the end. Mm. And, like, seeing how much you've progressed and how quickly you did it. Uh, that's almost the same with me and my years ago with reviewing and stuff I feel like I could have done better when I go back and look at it I'm just like oh god this is the worst shit I've ever done in my life no that just means you improved on since then because if you look back and, and you're, you're like oh this is this is not nearly as good as it, as it once was or whatever then that just means you you've gotten better or at least no. knowing that you've gotten better the worst part is there's some days I feel like I should just delete it and just be done and over with, but I don't. Well, considering I got my ass, uh, did I, I got my ass kicked against the goal in the first time, I'm probably gonna be terribly, but we'll see. 
See, it, it, that stays on topic. You saw how bad you did the first time, and it's all about progression. I feel like since, like, <laughs> most people in this chat are something of artists in one sense or another, I feel like, like... Being an artist, you're you're always gonna be your own worst critic because mm -hmm. what you envision in your mind isn't always what you put out. It's funny the things that I'm. I was always like that with a lot of stuff, but my reviews and shit, they always turn out pretty dang close to what I wanted. Like not exact, but pretty dang close. Hmm. I'm just really proud of the work that I did on them too. God, uh. Earlier reviews I did, I just cringe at. <laughs> Everyone does. At their old yeah. stuff, regardless. Man, I, the only thing I think that you uh, you were recap night, man, was editing. And holy shit, did you 180 that? Ah, thank you. Like, when you released your uh, trials video, like, I was like, holy shit, is this the same guy? What? Like, <laughs> uh, I mean that trails, right? Trails, yeah, that's what I meant. Fucking, I can't, yeah. I can't remember, dude. It's too many RPGs. <laughs> nah, no worries. I just uh, wanted to correct you. Mm -hmm. No, Trials is the crossover with the Trials games, where you ride a motorcycle. And... Oh. <laughs> oh okay. That game's great. I can't believe that game started off as, like, as a Newgrounds game, pretty much. Oh, you mean kind of like Alien Hominid, right? I haven't... I, I, oh, I haven't played Alien Hominid in a while. Oh. I have an Alien Hominid tattoo because I'm a loser. <laughs> Hey, Alien Hobbit was, was pretty fun. Shit, how big is this dungeon? The Ocean Palace is kind of a big, uh, it's kind of a big deal, so it's really big. Yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna get this done in time for the stream to be over. Oh, speaking of double dipping, I was anybody else incredibly hyped to find out Castle Crashers was coming to the Switch? Eh, I've got it on Steam, so. Jeez, they ported Castle Crashers to everything. Except for PlayStation. The the only thing I, I want is if they if they um it, with the switch port is I want them to fix the problem where somebody drops out like they can't get back in. Like like or I wanna make it so that you can like, you know, save your progression and come back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That should always that should bother me about Castle Crashers, because that game can get long in yeah. one sitting like sometimes like, it could be four plus hours depending on yeah. what you do like if you do all the extra stuff and it's like i, I mean, remember uh oh, i'd like to have the opportunity to <laughs> do some of this shit at a at another time like and not have to feel like i'm losing all my progress because i want to stop for a sec i remember i uh, having fond memories of uh of playing that with time warp and mirror there's so fun. many times I've tried, like, people have tried to start a Let's Play of that game with me, but we always get to the same conclusion. We've had enough after a couple hours, and then we want to stop and come back to it, but you can't. So that's what I really liked about Battle Block. Like, you, you, clear, a, like you clear the stage and it's done. That's another port I want on the Switch, because I would love to play pa Battle Block, like, anywhere I want. Because I think that's uh, Behemoth's best game, although I, most people will say Castle Crashers. I haven't played Battle Block, but I've seen some gameplay out of it. It looked really fun. It's, like, probably oh, the most fun platforming game I've played outside of, like, a Mario. Just because, like, it's goofy and silly, and, like, especially when you play with somebody else. Like, that game just a whole, like, third third level right there of greatness. Does some decent damage now. Well, you're in the elevator section, I see. Yeah. It's like a beat em up. Ride the elevator like a fucking idiot. With connect. With that really old, in <laughs> with that really old inside joke, no one will get. <laughs> yeah, it has a I got it! Damage. Yeah. It's still, I still yeah, got it. It's the inside joke. That's because I'm old. More uh -huh. enemies. So is that one blonde girl a cat? No, uh, she's, she's a, a cave. She's a cave woman. Yeah. Okay, so we got uh, blue and red Goku with sword. Uh, 
generic girl with crossbow and cave woman. Well, that's the basic gist of it, yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, oh, very okay, basic. decade. <laughs> Looking both out. Being in. Wow, that was obscure. You fucker. There we go. God, how many more fights are on this thing? All of them. I think it's just a there sequence of fights while you're writing down the elevator. This is the right. longest fucking elevator in the history of the world. Oh, please. Okay. The Jacob I have a feeling elevator. I have to hit this switch, but before I do, there's two doors. There we go. I was about to say, the Jacob elevator in X8 was the longest elevator I've ever... The longest elevator is the Mass Effect elevator from Mass Effect 1. The, the, the elevator in <laughs> Final Fight. Oh, yeah, that! <laughs> I've never played Mass Effect... Those are really good, though, right? I don't know oh, why yeah. I've never played they them. Are. Yeah. They're 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 heavily story driven and character and character yeah. driven, but there's some good uh, shitty mechanics and stuff too. So it's, so it is strictly a action RPG type of thing. Yep. I don't See, I like I don't know why I never played those games when I had a PlayStation Three. I was, I, for some reason, I was like, oh, oh, well, yeah, everyone tells me these games are good, but I'm going to play Operation Raccoon City and DMC Devil May Cry. Oh. Ugh. Mm. That's, uh, I, I, I am so sorry you played those. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I like, I like DMC. They're not, they're DMC not the worst, not the worst ever, thing but, ever, but... But, but, but compared to something like but Mass Operation Effect. Raccoon City. Yeah, Raccoon City was a train wreck. I picked that up on a midnight, and I've never made a worse decision in my entire life. <laughs> Operation Raccoon City. I've never played it, but I've seen people play it. And I... <laughs> oh, our man. friend, our friend Unreal did a 50 plus minute review on that game. So what you're saying is, I need to go play Resident Evil Survivor for PS1. That's your thing. Uh, I think yes. that might be better. No. That, that might game be could be completed in like an hour. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah I think that's why. Be... Because it's so I mean... fucking short. It's <laughs> actually... it's probably... Yeah, then it's probably better. You know, it's better because it's way more hokey than easy to laugh at mm -hmm. i don't know my favorite resident evil is the game i call uh boat uh, resident evil oh um, dead aim? Uh, um yes um, i love dead aim uh, dead oh aim i thought you were dead talking aim. about the one on the uh sp no the the game of color no the wii u one that i remember the fuck was that one? Finally? Oh, great. Here comes the Golem Twins. What are you talking about? Revelations? All right. Yeah. So, was that not on a boat? Let's see. It was. Yeah. I never what, played it. What the hell do I do it's for good. these guys? Because I got annihilated last time. Okay, well, if you recall how the Golems worked, how the Golem worked last time, he basically takes whatever attribute you would throw at it and then throws it back at you for, like, for like massive damage or whatever. That's so a I huge wouldn't, bitch. I wouldn't suggest straight up physical attacks because that oh. can like knock out your party members well unless you already just did that while yeah, I, was... I did that okay <laughs> well that's just part of the learning process it's just part of the learning process it's okay well I, uh... honestly it is when you play a game for the first time you're like how do i how does this work you know trial and error jesus what god damn those things are ridiculously strong Oh, I thought... it... Well, they are. They are. Well, they are when they are because um, when you attack it physically, like with a strong physical attack, it'll like ha it'll like strike back at you with like a really powerful mm -hmm. fight attack. <laughs> this fight. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna turn on my fan. If it makes too much noise, tell me, will you? It'll make too much noise. How do you know? Dude, it's just every time fan, you sweetie. have it on, it makes too much noise. Yes, we we comment on every time you have your fan on. So it's, it's almost it's a... Well, then just mute yourself if, if you're not gonna talk. Yeah. Ah, fine. I'm... I just didn't want to turn on the cool air, to be honest. Save some energy and money. All right, Dude, it yeah. snowed the other day where I'm at. I was gonna say, like it it, it it snowed and rained today. 
I, my... Yeah, in some parts of Canada, it's still, there's, it's been snowing, I think. So if I snow, you mean fire? No. Canada's not opposite land. <laughs> Brandon, well, no, that's, Brandon. That's just SoCal. Yeah, SoCal but when it comes, yeah, but when it comes to April, it's like it can be what it can just do whatever the fuck it wants. <laughs> sometimes, much. sometimes we'll get nice spring days, and then other times, hey, here's some snow surprise. Oh, for God's sakes, dude! What? I was, I was terrified just... like leaving my house because I'm on crutches and like my staircase was icy, and I'm like, oh god, damn it! What am I gonna do with my life? Y'all just pretty much tell me the equivalent of fuck you at this point. What? Honey. It's like, yep. weather in Canada is like, you don't know what you're gonna get. Okay. That's what you're referring to. That just well, yeah. this battle is already really out of context. What did you I think was I was confused. The conversation drifted away from that for a second. Yeah, for a second. A millisecond. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you you talk about that. I mean, it literally was without, without, without context second, of what was whatever. being said before. Personally speaking, where I live at, it's the same way. Like, mm -hmm. we've had snow, like, ass end of April, mm -hmm. and then it's gone by the first day of May, and it's just ridiculous. You know, uh, my, my state got hit with, like, hail today, or for a little bit. So we have sun, and then tomorrow there's probably going to be sun, followed by maybe a cloud, but more sun. You live in the desert? The reason I can't use a shelter, I live in SoCal. Oh, so you live in the desert, pretty much. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Mine's gonna be... I think thunderstorms, thunderstorms. I just don't want it to be bad weather tomorrow, because we have to drive, so... Yeah, we, right now in Arizona, we have like, uh... It's like 75 degrees right now, and tomorrow it's supposed to rain. Oh, boo-hoo. Yeah. I'm gonna figure out exactly how cold it or, or warm it is. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna fight this thing, thing because... Yeah. It, it pretty much kills one of my characters, like, in the first turn. What attacks are you using? Still waiting for you to use the power of love. I, I haven't gotten that far yet. No, he hasn't gotten, like... I don't think you've gotten, um... The, I don't think you've gotten a triple, uh... Attack, right? Or triple tech? Yet? Uh, it's apparently 38 where I'm at right now. Oh, for God damn it! Don't attack her. I can't get over the design of these things. Like, is 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 the stomach a real mouth or is the one above like? It just looks like a weird baby. Like two of them. Well, they're just weird like golem things. That's what they are supposed to be. I just don't know which one the real mouth is. <laughs> Like, how does how do these golems eat? What trials and tribulations do they have to go through on a daily basis? Well, if they tried to put on a shirt, would they get lint in their teeth? Well, they're golems. They don't really need that kind of stuff, I don't think. Yeah. You're thinking too one-dimensional, like in the Chrono Trigger that we're watching. <laughs> what about the Chrono Trigger world that must exist that we don't get to see? Well, considering well, there's they're summoned from, like, another dimension or something, because they just summon them. I don't think they're, like, sitting there wearing, changing shirts and... Well, when we yeah. well, when when Zero turns the game off, what do they do? They're stuck in that other dimension he, co he pulled them from. No, no, no. Like when he turns off the video game console, what do they do? No, I'm, I'm saying is that I pulled them from another dimension to fight you. So probably in being in another dimension hmm. or another time zone because it's because time travel is a big thing about this game. I'm thinking of this in like Toy Story logic, or actually a better version would be Wreck-It Ralph logic. <laughs> I think the best of the B-movie logic, where apparently no other B has ever talked to a human, ever. Yeah, and they're all cousins, which I found weird. That was dumb. I hate to admit that, I hate to admit that, like, my dad, that is his absolute favorite <laughs> movie of all time. What? B-movie? B yeah. <laughs> B-movie's not terrible, I enjoy it. Eh. Well, agree it's, to disagree. It's just been memed a lot. That's all, really. Yeah, that's my what, dad saw one, and he's like, wait, is B-Movie making a... Are they making a sequel? I keep seeing all this stuff about B-Movie. And I'm like, oh, poor... My poor father doesn't understand the world. <laughs> he doesn't well, understand memes. Better that than Shark Tale, because fucking Shark Tale was awful. 
That movie was really good when I was a kid. I, I, I that can't hold up, can it? Can no, it. it just Damn just it. stick Why with Finding Nemo go, instead. Right? Finding Nemo was much better. Okay, I'm just wasting items if I do if I keep doing. See, it. I'm over Finding Nemo, but I think it's because I've watched that movie like 90 billion times. Like literally, the only <laughs> reason I'm doing damage right now is because I have counter. Oh, with Chrono? Yeah. Also, has anybody in recent history watched uh, Road to El Dorado? Because I'm trying to remember if that would, if that movie. Um, that movie's amazing. I, think I watched it once, but I don't there remember personally finishing it. Because I was having that conversation at my work with somebody. Because I didn't know Elton John did the like made some of the music for that. We'll follow that trail on the road we blaze. Both are good. Yes, both are good. I fought your sister. That's a compliment. <laughs> so I was trying to think, like, I was trying to explain to somebody at my work when I say a movie doesn't hold up anymore. And they're like, no, dude, Fern Gully was a great movie when I was, like, exactly. He's still gonna be good now that you're an adult. Dude, Fern Gully is great compared to fucking Fern Gully 2. That is garbage. That is hot garbage, that movie. Is that the one with the fucking, uh, the black tar or whatever? Is that no, the no, 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 no. Second movie's the one with the, with the animals. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I don't that think I liked either of those movies, to be honest with you. I am like a weird, like, encyclopedia of weird animated movies. Yes, you are. You went through your DVD collection once, and I was like, what? To half of it? I have seen <laughs> literally every Disney sequel. I'm oh. so sorry. There's so yeah. many of them. And, like, the majority of them are terrible. Do you know what I found the out the other day? The only one I have not seen is I did not see Peter Pan 2. That's the only one I haven't seen. That exists? That does yeah. not exist. It oh, does. It, it was there's, a lot, there's a lot of direct, there's a lot of direct video sequels of movies like that. You guys know what I found no, out the other day? I found out there's, a, three. there's a Lion King movie box set. And I'm like, how many Lion King movies are there? Two there's, and a half. There's three there's of them. Three, there's three like... Lion King movies and a TV series. I remember no, actually, two series if you count there's Timon also and Pumbaa. apparently a spin-off series. Yeah, Timon and Pumbaa. No, not that. There's yeah, the Lion King, Lion King one and a half. Yeah, that. You're thinking of the Lion Guard? Maybe. And the Lion Guard's actually not too bad. Is that real? That's well, sure, yeah, it must be. That's Simba's kid yeah. who gets a magical cutie mark and he uses a fucking magic roar to blast shit. That sounds like something you would expect on Disney Junior. It is on Disney Junior. Oh, it is on yeah. Disney Junior, babe. Oh, they have a Disney Junior? Where the fuck have I been in my life? Uh, not paying attention to cable television? Yeah. I mean, I remember Nick Junior because they had Face and Face was the shit. So actually, I lied. Yeah. No, there's, there's, I forgot there's a movie that's, that's, that's the starting point for the series. It's called Return of the Roar. So there's four movies. Did they ever have a Gargoyles movie? Or was that just like a compilation nope. of... Nope. Not that was... Yeah. No, but the DuckTales movie is good. Yes, the DuckTales movie is great. Um, me and my friend at work constantly sing that song to get it stuck in people's heads. You're a monster. What's What song in the movie? Oh no, just the DuckTales theme song. That one's so overplayed. It's so good though. It's not my favorite. I can't think of a classic Disney. It, most Disney theme songs are fantastic. Darkwing Duck. I would say my the most my Let's most favorite Disney theme song from a show from Disney Afternoon is probably Gummy Bears. Gummy Bears was solid. Uh, I, I like love Tales, that show. Tailspin is another one that stays in my brain a lot. Even the newer stuff mm -hmm. is good. Like the Gravity Falls theme is really trippy and cool. Um, did anyone did anyone watch the first season of the new DuckTales? Yes. I heard it was good. Yeah, it was alright. It's solid. Like... Alright. Alright. But I did not know this. That on the last couple of episodes, without spoiling for those who have not seen it, that they got uh, Don Cheadle to voice Donald Duck. I was just like, wow, really? Yes. Wow. Oh yeah, that was a thing. Yeah, it was a thing. Awesome. War Machine from the Bridge of oh, War Machine. Yeah, Don Cheadle I also. I remember. I couldn't remember. Don Cheadle also played the best Captain Planet that we never deserved, but we needed our whole lives. 
God damn planet, uh, oh, bitch! It just reminded me the time that uh, that Seth MacFarlane and Tom Cruise were on that one. What's that British guy's show? The British comedian guy's show? John Oliver. Not not that one. Uh. Um, they were on the show. They did like imp impressions, and he did. And I'm like, Seth MacFarlane did like um, Kermit the Frog doing the doing the Taken phone call. Oh, what the <laughs> fuck is that guy's name? Uh, he was on a he was on a he hosted a game show on Comedy Central. Yeah. Jimmy Carr. Uh. Oh, one's dead. Okay, good. Okay. To the day I die, I will always love Bonkers. I love that show. Bonkers was great. Yeah. I I enjoyed Bonkers. I'm trying to remember the name of the guy that voiced Bonkers because he's in every. Jim Cummings. Thank you. He also voiced the other main dude in the show. He was also one of the Warner Brothers, right? Now you're thinking of Rob uh, Paulson. No, Rob yeah, Paulson. yeah. Jim Cummings. What else has Jim Cummings done? Robotnik. Oh, uh, he's been oh, Winnie, Winnie the, the Pooh. Pooh. And Tigger. Pete. <laughs> Pretty, if you look at his IMDb, it is ridiculous. It's like 800 plus things. Yeah, there's some there's some stuff he sent out. Yes, I beat them. You know, oh, you nice. know nice what? Congrats. Like, like the terror mask from Yay! the Splatterhouse game. I got him to sign um, that game, and I, that, I remember uh, I asked him the question. I asked him is, what was it? What's it like going from voicing you know wholesome characters like Winnie the Pooh to the terror mask? <laughs> the only person who's probably done more things than Jim Cummings is Frank Welker. Yeah, definitely. I actually got to go to a convention that Jim Cummings was at, and uh, it was like the whole, like all the special guests there uh, that included uh, the guy that voices Alpha 5, whose name I can't remember. A oh, guy that... man, you met the guy who voiced Alpha 5? Nicest dude. Um, oh, shit. Nice. Uh, there was a bunch of people, I... but they did a reading of, uh, of uh, the Avengers script in characters. And I just remember Winnie the Pooh voicing the Hulk and him saying, what do you want me to do? Swallow him? And I thought that was the funniest thing that killed my childhood. Oh, Jim Cummings no. it was the best Robotnik ever. His Robotnik was amazing. He was the Sad AM Robotnik and that was so good. Oh, I was about to say, mm. I keep thinking the Avengers of Robotnik for some reason, but I know it wasn't Cummings that did it. It was uh, long, I can't remember. Long John. I can't pronounce his last name. I'm gonna fuck it up. Now I gotta look it up. Fuck. Stephen J. Blum is another guy whose uh, works are like oh, ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's not the same level as Cummings like or uh, Welker, but he's up there. I yeah, still think he... it's crazy that I was able to get, uh, um, dude. Is it? I think it's David Fielding. The guy who voiced well, Zordon to be Zordon in my fucking Power Rangers thing. That's well, rad. Uh, Long John Baldry, that's the one who voiced Adventures of Sonic Robot. That, that was the one. I just, I just couldn't remember. I, because at first I thought it, legit it was Cummings that did that Robotnik, but it wasn't. And <sighs> no, Cummings did the badass one. Yeah, he yeah. did the badass one. The Baldry did the. Shit, is this dumbass. Labos? Oh fuck! I'm at the final battle already. I'm trying to think of the other dude that was on that. Well, battle. Jess Harnell. Jess Harnell. Well, that was over quick. Oh, you can. Oh, I just got killed by a giant happens. porcupine vagina. Man, Japanese uh, games are weird. Um... <laughs> wow. No, it's Megus. Chicks dig giant robots. Oh, I, was, oh, it's I love loud. that show. Oh, snap. I was I was going to ask while we were talking about old 90s cartoons, who here has have watched uh, Road Rovers? Huh, the fall... No. Wait, Magus is the false prophet? Yeah. Um, I don't Someone remember tell that Spoonie. one. Uh, Biker Mice from Mars. I remember that show. Uh, I guess I guess, I guess I'm going to learn to copy Ninja Turtles. What were you trying to say? Yeah, game? but it was solid. That one was like legitimately solid. It's I, better I guess, than Horse Ninja. I I guess I'm the only person here who's uh, who's ever seen Road Rovers. Okay, I, gotcha. I've seen Road Rovers. Then why did no one said did anyone here when I asked I've did anyone see Road Rovers? I've never heard of Road Rovers. 
I feel like I've seen that. I, I just don't remember. Like the leader was like the president's dog. Yeah, like each each of the each of the dogs were like really important, like diplomats' dogs. And then then they get these these suits and they like they become superheroes. Oh yeah, but, like, I remember the, this fucking show. That show was fucking awesome. The the best the best scene from that entire show was the Russian's name song. If you remember that, Vegeta, the Russian's name song is great. I haven't seen that show in like 10, 12 years. I have to get this video now because it's the is the best is the best thing up. It is I like just googled Road Rovers to remember what it looked like, and there's like some very questionable things. Okay, but look in that. Don't don't you Google. don't 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 Google. You need don't, to stop doing that. Don't stop you. Vegeta, don't go to Deviant Art and type in Road Rovers. He's already oh. done it. He's probably <laughs> Deviant Art. It, it, it makes me laugh. It, it. <laughs> yeah, I posted I posted in in, the, in one of the chats the Russian name song. They actually got away with that on like TV. And like. <laughs> For kids. Oh, that show. Yeah, I, I remember that now. With that image, now you, now I saw what you linked. That show is pretty solid, if I remember correctly. I remember it being pretty dumb, honestly. <laughs> what else? Was SWAT Cats was another one that I liked. Oh, SWAT, oh, cats. SWAT yes. Cats. Oh, yes. I love SWAT Cats. <laughs> Who voiced those two cats? I, I can't even remember the, the names of the Only cats. Only there was a way you could find out. Oh, oh I, I just realized that I didn't know Hanna-Barbera no. made that, but that makes sense. Now. We're missing something really dramatic. No, talk about nice cartoon during this pivotal moment of the game. It's fine. <laughs> well, the game was made in the 90s. Uh, yeah, that's Charlie the only correlation. And Baron okay, Baron let's be respectful, guys. guys. Where's the Animu cutscene? No, this is the original this is version. Nintendo version. Oh man, no anime cutscene, and that was one of the best parts of it. I don't think this the Super the... Nintendo could handle that. This is the, no, that was the had, original. That was version. added to PlayStation. Oh man, now I'm sad. I wanted to see the anime movie cutscene. I want a refund. Then go on YouTube and watch them then. <laughs> that wasn't what I meant. This sucks. I want a refund. I'm so entitled. No refund. And face it, Chrono Trigger is ruined. By the way, I, I think I should mention, if anybody's wondering where the followers bar went, um, first I tried to correct it because it was off, and now it won't save, so I had to get rid of it. Fuck it. Some kind of issue with, with uh, Streamlabs OBS. Yeah, I've been having problems with Streamlabs OBS where it's just not... I have to fiddle with my mic six or seven times before it even goes on, and even if it, even if it does, doesn't like I just I don't know. Mic Good problems. Good going, Zero. You killed him. Calm down, Bubbles. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's kind of what's supposed to happen. So, <laughs> if it was Bubbles, it, it actually it would be more like uh, be more like you're like. It'd be more like... Jesus fucking Christ, calm down. <laughs> you fucking oh, killed him. You know they have an animated yeah. series now? Yeah, because they have to... Because with Leahy's Lay, actor dead. Like... I thought they did it because, like, they had, they just had... Like, I know that was... But I think they are like, Hey, we have other funny ideas that we can't film. There could be that, too. I mean, the, the thought... And it, this is... My brother said this the other day. The thought is that... Uh, we're probably doing the anime series just a bridge to a new season because it's kind of hard for them to do like one, do it with one of the major characters isn't going to be around anymore. Yeah, I was thinking that too. I actually that was like the most Trailer Park Boys I ever watched, and I really enjoyed the animated series. <laughs> My brother's it's got fucking it. it's got Josh Home in a Queens of the Stone Age concert at the end of it. What's not to like? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. He almost broke it. We don't know uh, what it is. It's but... probably a gunpla. No, it's, I mean, I would say it, but it's too 
but we were just trying to be PG. You um, we'll find out next know? time on Zero Streams. <laughs> um, dun, 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 dun. I hope you like playing with your new party, Zero. When did it become hey, an uh, anime? Hey, uh, Zero. Wait, do I get old man? No, not old man. What? That, that... This game's hey, ageist. I want old man in my party. You just don't, you just, no more, no more chrono. Hey. Hey, uh, Zero. Zero. What? Before I go, I gotta go. Okay. Can I do the plug thing? The what? Can I do the plug thing? You can plug anything you want, just make sure you don't overload the socket. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Man, that was terrible. Like hair plugs? No. no. Hair club. <laughs> hair club for men. <laughs> no. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> if you're looking for games, you can always check out Indigala. Uh, reference code Indigala.com. It should be at the bottom of the, the stream. There's like question at least... mark reference equals zero answer or something like that. He... Yeah, look, you, look. I'm going to I'm going to sit you down one day and just have your your stream panels fixed because just having that Mega Man X there and just like donate here is just so lazy. <laughs> it just like frustrates it, me. Anyways, uh, get reference code Zero Master. Um, today's today's recommendations and stuff like that is you can get Soul Calibur Six currently right now. They're still in stock for twenty dollars. So is like Chrono just out of the game now? Yeah, yeah. He's, Wait, Soul Calibur Six for twenty dollars? Yes, twenty dollars. Right deal. now, Chrono's not available, obviously. Yeah, like, 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 legit, he's dead. Yeah, he's he's completely uh, vaporized. Hey, Slippy's game? in the chat, or Slippy's in the game. How do you beat the game then? Because don't you need him? Yeah, he isn't necessary. You, uh, well, here's the thing: if you if just play, just progress through the game as as the game intends you to do, and then. You'll find out what you'll have to do. Yeah. So he comes back. <clears throat> well, I'm that would be a spoiler. Or I'm neither confirming nor denying that. I'm just saying, play the game uh, to find out what you have to do. With yeah. Chrono dead, the future of everything looks bleak. <laughs> so how, how, is Chrono... time on so how the how the fuck is Chrono gonna train for 500 episodes to go Super Saiyan? Uh, well, he's always Super Saiyan. Saiyan. He's always Guys, Super Saiyan God. God. He's Fuck. just gotta get to Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. No, no, no. So, no, that's so a thousand of Frog's gotta turn it's Super Saiyan. It's funny because it's the same artist. Uh, Guys, no, yeah, you need to get to two thousand episodes to Guys. get to that. Guys, this. let me let me finish because I I'm just gonna just finish this and then go go. I'm just gonna go and then the stream will end. Sure. Like the stream is not gonna end for another thirty minutes. No, I'm ending the stream. I gotta yeah, go. Yeah, but the way you're going, just say what you need to do, otherwise... <laughs> no, I was doing the Indie Gala thing. Just, you know, plug. People know where to find my links. I promoted enough of my videos. <laughs> I was also going to say that much. they can also get Tales of Vesperia for 75% off. And I guess uh, the... Is that Definitive and... Edition? Yes, yeah, Definitive Edition. Thank okay. you. That was very painful. I... Thank you. I'd say go for it because Tales of Vesperia is an awesome so game. So if you use the reference code link that's in the description, you can get Tales of Vesperia. Berseria. 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 My and bad. Where, and oh, what Bersaria. website is this again to get all these amazing deals? Uh, Indiegala.com yes. slash question mark ref zero mass equals zero master. I don't fucking know. Like I'm just going to vomit a little bit. <laughs> Well, fine. Me... Go vomit somewhere. Hold on. Let me let me just find the. I gotta the... go to the thing with the thing and the thing. Get some soda. Art. Ah, I, found... I was right. That is the link. But I'm just gonna paste the in the chat anyways. The the fact that you actually memorize your reference link is actually kind of dis disappointing. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> it's in the description of all of a bunch of videos now, so. Yet again, yeah. that's HTTPS. <laughs> Colin, You're not going to sing My Heart Will Go On for the Death of Chrono. Who's, who's going to sing that? Uh, www.indiegala.com forward slash question mark ref equals zero master. We just had a dramatic moment and all you can think about is plugs. Hey, hey <laughs> they still have the VR bundle. So if you want to get your VR bundle. God damn it. Then... <laughs> I, I, I mean, luckily this is just this is just you know link plugs and not you know plugs and plug balls. 
not my video description. Um, but uh, let's see. Before we go, who is live right now that I follow? Uh, Jakado is streaming. Jakado oh, is live. Is... Uh, so is Deco. So now I gotta decide between the two of them. Um, God damn it! That's a name I've heard in a while. Flip a coin. How is Deco anyway? He's he's good. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Okay. Me, 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 you, Chicago. All right. So we're going to Ridge Cotto, and yeah. So again, tonight's uh, stream is a little short because I'm actually going on a mini vacation this weekend. Um, I have content ready to go on my channel, but it might be slow to come out. So. So yeah. So that's where I'm going, and that's why I've cut this off short because I got to do some more packing. I'm basically packed. I just got to pack a few things, but I want to get as much done before I leave in the morning. So, thanks guys for coming out. We'll do more Chrono Trigger next week, unless some event for Overwatch or Monster Hunter or something else comes out that I think is interesting enough to play instead. Um, but probably more Chrono Trigger. So, I will see you guys on the flip side next week. Thanks for coming out. Later. Peace Good night, out, baby. Bye. And do not forget to stay until the raid. I already saved. I hope so. Those yes, I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Check. All right, we are raiding.